And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain, our next deck that we're going to be playing. Got a little fire and ice kind of here with Freljord and Noxus. Um, basically, we're trying to do a lot of non-combat damage that will trigger Swain. That will, uh, if the damage to the enemy Nexus, that will help Sejuani level up. And, you know, we're trying to get both of our uh, powerful champions at our top end to level up and of course we got these leviathans to go grab some more swains uh wolf rider ramps us into leviathan but as far as like the the whole um plunder thing and dealing damage we got ember maiden also really good against aggro decks being able to be a mini board clear each round uh, we have that combination with either ruthless raider that is tough and therefore doesn't take the damage or crimson disciple that whenever it takes the damage does damage the enemy nexus for us also um and yeah then just kind of kind of matching those with a bunch of different uh interaction like a bun bunch of removal spells for different scenarios we got transfusion and uh elixir of iron as our protection and then we also have some city breakers getting more damage in more swain and sejuani triggers so looks to be a fun deck let's give it a try we're going to be playing five games over in Ranked. So here we go. We're playing against the They Who Endure Atrocity deck. Calling Strike's great against Elise, but not really great against anything else in their deck. Sejuani is really good, but also costs six mana, so I'll mulligan it. I want the other half of our combo, the thing that does one damage to everything each turn, because they, they play a lot of things with one toughness. Yeah, it costs four. Yeah, City Breaker costs four. Block. Alright, they didn't block. Well, we found our Sejuanis again. Wolf Rider does curve, help us curve into Sejuani. power. No. The winter's claw. Dang, we are really playing Sejuani over here, aren't we? So the champion spell is Fury of the North. I'll take everything. So if I play two Fury of the North, this could be nine, thirteen, it could be thirteen. Okay, so I only have the mana for one of them next turn. Because I probably want to Culling Strike this thing. Maybe not. Maybe I just go for Overwhelm Damage.
Dang, these are good blocks. These are good blocks. Death to all betrayers. Hmm. Well, my plan was to play Ember Maiden. That kind of makes my life worse, though. Kinda. Yeah, cause the the curse keepers. Harvey just took my yogurt out of. Ugh. Out of the trash can. Lista out of here. Only had one extra mana last turn. I could, I would have killed them if I had one extra mana, and I could have played both of these. But could have thrown one of them out and put them down to three. Because remember, they were at seven. Do I need one extra minute? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was my breakfast, but now he's looking out the rest of the thing there. Okay, that's supposed to be down to one. Well, I can't go down to one. Got it from him. My saplings. Don't need you swallowing up plastic. Don't need that to happen. Attack. 
I guess, yeah, it just, it doesn't really matter what I cast, what I cast that transfusion on last turn. I guess I could have, but like, then they would have one other, one of these that... We're doing fine. I am going all in. The Fury of the North. No. Ugh. Fury of the North. I always lose to Atrocity with that deck. <laughs> I always lose to that deck. It's always Atrocity. No, there's no Fury of the North in, in my deck. Sejuani's champion spell is Fury of the North, and so I had I drew three Sejuani's. I drew all three Sejuani's, and so the other two are just used for, for Fury of the Norths. <laughs> no, we have not been catching breaks recently. I mean, you know, just one more mana, we would have been able to win the turn before. One more mana. I mean, I guess I I could probably could have played in a way to not be so dead to atrocity. Like if I don't play my, you know, playing the the card that dealt one damage to everything was probably just a big mistake. You know, that killed the curse keepers. That was probably just a big mistake playing that card at all. They would have had the blighted caretaker, but still, probably just should not have played that card. This looks fine. Oh, the transfusion lost me four health? Oh, I always forget about that with transfusion, that I don't actually block because of the burst speed. And I didn't even notice that. I always forget about that. Yeah, that cost me that cost me that game, didn't it? I always forget that I don't actually go to blockers with that because of the burst speed. The here's with me. The winter's it's just very unintuitive. Never so that's how that works, but that is how that works. I didn't use any specific deck to climb to Masters. I I just play a wide variety of decks. Just... <sighs> just gotta be worth it to play this free combat, right? Just gotta be worth it. You know, forces them to have something to block. Darn, they do have something to block. So while I'd like to City Breaker, if I Wolf Rider, then we get to Leviathan next turn. And this Leviathan's looking pretty big. Smell that bark. Fear. Stand and fight. A conquest for Empire! 
The Leviathan. I like how all of our stuff has Overwhelm. That's pretty cool. Why does the Leviathan have a voice? It's a ship. It's a good question, but it's a warship. Was it, is it maybe just, was that Swain? That like, you know, it, it draws Swain and so Swain says something? gonna let the damage go through like this before I play, you know, Might, and then they play Will of Ionia. Let's just let that happen. Get rid of those things. Even though I could have gone for lethal with the Might and the Culling Strike. You know, like one of the two. But I liked how damage was going through. All right, GGs. So one and one probably should be two and zero. Oh, if I learn how to transfusion. Because I killed the thing before blocking. I know, like, we have, like, the one thing that doesn't die to Transfusion, and I targeted the other thing. They were both three ones, and I had Pup on my lap, and to be honest, I I really thought that I was targeting the, like, to be honest, I, I honestly thought I was targeting the thing that wasn't going to die. I just I targeted the wrong one. Yeah, it's true, I did not uh, draw three Sejuani's this time. Nothing worse than when you lose it and it's your own fault. Well, that's basically every loss with this game. There's most likely something you should have done differently. Or not necessarily should have done, but if you would have done differently, things could have been different. You know, sometimes you make the wrong, the right play and it ends up being the wrong play. If you make the wrong play, it would be the right play kind of thing. Sometimes. Calling strike's kind of weird. Like, if they have, like, standalone, my culling strike's not going to do anything. But if they don't have standalone, you know, like, if we get to culling strike, like, a Zed, that would be awesome. Fight or die. I'm mulligan the City Breaker because it's a nice slow burn, but this is one of the fastest decks in the format. Can't really afford a nice slow burn. So mulligan to the City Breaker. Unfortunately, came right back. Well, this looks like game. There's not much for me to do, you know. The, this standalone deck, when they have, when they have the hand, they're gonna beat you. Glory, cunning, excuses for war. 
greatest tool. Clearing out a blocker. Hopefully. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. So my guess is they're one they're trying to decide whether or not to use protection on this or save protection for that thing. The winter's claw. We would have killed Fiora in two turns with Maiden? I mean, that doesn't... The game's over before that. If I must. That doesn't... That doesn't matter. Like, we, we need to... We need to win the game before that. We don't... We don't have that much time. As fate wills. How have you been liking the three mana deal two to a unit and one to the Nexus card? I don't love that card, to be honest. Don't love that card. But... Hmm. Crazy Pyro! But it does it does kind of a good job in here. Like this is definitely like the one deck like where you can really use it. Um Oh, this is tough. If I save Crimson Disciple, this is one point away from leveling up. Or I save Swain. And so I get to do another two points of damage to them. Or I save Swain. But it's like, what are we really saving Swain for? Because, like, we save Swain for just a tiny bit, because then the Swain's going to die. Like, no matter what we save, it's going to die upkeep. But that, that gets... And that turns our Elixir of Iron into two damage. Thanks, Crazy Pyro. 33 awesome months. Hope everything's going good. Oh, nice. Been doing good playing a bunch of online poker. Cool. Yeah, I am doing, doing well. I really like this. No. This last set that's just come out. And with Rune Terror releasing, it's start, we're starting to grow. Rune Terror is starting to grow. I have many faces. GG's. So close. Stand alone is a heck of a card. Hey, Cold. Heck of a card. 
by Elise. I'm doing great. Doing great. Mulligan away cards, redraw them. Just what we want. Ruthless Raider. Fight or die. So do we go pre-combat Omen Hawk Crimson Disciple? The answer is yes, we do. Fine, would have dealt three damage anyway. I'll try but it just we gave ourselves the upside like where if they were like banking their mana to have five mana next turn for you know, brood awakening, that kind of stuff, we could have had six damage potentially. I pull the strings. Uh. Man, why can't this just, this just be Noxion Fervor? We must all make It'd be so much better. Is that all? You dare. We feast tonight, Varg. But we feast tonight. You own what you take. Boo. I'm kind of worried about how the rest of this game is going to go. Like, Death's Hand, Noxion, Guillotine, not super thrilled about those cards. And the worried we'll have enough power to finish the game out. It's a good thing we drew a one mana card. That's exactly what I wanted to draw. down to nine. Love it. Let this happen. Be dead. Dead. Come on. Are you gonna be dead, puppy? Still dead? Oh no, 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 because it's gonna die first. No, it's gonna die before it levels up. Um, what if I? Okay, so if I if I noxion guillotine and kill my own thing, they only take uh, seven and they go down to two. So I can either have them be at two and no one, extra one one, or or I keep this noxion guillotine in hand and they're at six. 
Like worth using this Noctuan Guillotine to do four damage and keep them having a 1-1. Yeah, I'm not sure what else we'd use that guillotine for. That's a good question. Sure, they could ruination, but it's still worth playing. We don't just pass and then let them just have, you know, force them to have ruination, which is only like a one of in these decks, instead of just have like any any removal spell for the Omen Honk. Yeah, see, like if I just go to combat, they would just have removal for Omen Honk. So tempting to play Sejuani pre-combat. Because here they could have Vengeance. Witness. Yeah, it's, do I play around Ruination or do I play around Vengeance? Well, if they had Ruination, they would have played Ruination last turn. So they would have to just top deck Ruination, which is like a one of. Okay, so we can also do that. We can also put that there and then think for a while and see if they concede, I guess. Alright, two and two. Should be three and one, but... Yeah, that was nice. That was a good game. So we're eight and a half hours into our 12 hour stream. I, I kind of think we're gonna be playing Tusk Raider Ramp tomorrow and play two more decks, the Teemo Investigator and Winter Karma. Yuck. Against Burn? Yuck. <laughs> you think that's a, le a legitimate strategy? Put put units in attacking positions. See what they do. <laughs> I suppose. Oh, why is that so fearsome? But I want them to. That's what's up. What Two mana, three, four Crimson Disciple. Get past me. So, do we... Do this thing. And block here and here with Elixir of Iron back up. Feels like that's a thing to do. GG. For Sejuani. And Swain. Alright. That was the dream scenario. That was the two mana the two mana um three four crimson disciple. 
We need to make... Maybe we need that. We need, like... Because hitting Elise is amazing with Omen Hawk also. We need to find, like, which which region has, like, the most, like, awesome two-mana cards that if you just gave them plus one, plus one would be even better and make, you know, an o Omen Hawk with that and just try to hit two drops with that extra plus one, plus one. Maybe that's PNZ. You know, uh, Boom Crew Rookie is a 2-5. Can you imagine turn two, 2-5 two Boom Crew Rookie? You can imagine. Or, but then, then you also have... Yeah, that's what we're doing. So PNZ, you also have... What's the name of the other card? You. Kempunk Pickpocket. Have this be a 4-3 on turn 2? With that Nexus Strike? That seems amazing. This is a 5-4? Maybe. Maybe. Those two both seem amazing on turn two, getting the plus one, plus one. Maybe we need that. Maybe we need to go to the other regions and see see what else we got. That Crim Crimson Disciple is pretty awesome, though. And then you also get Demolitionist, Grenadier, Legion Drummer, Glory Seeker. Oh, this is pretty good. Maybe we just make Omen Hawk plus two drop dot deck. House Spider or Scrap. I mean, this is these are all playable two drops. Just play them all, and so that you just need just mulligan every single card that's not Omen Hawk from the from your opening hand. Find Omen Hawk in your opening hand. You play it, and then just whatever two drop you draw immediately. <laughs> just have that. I don't know. Boom Crew Rookie as a 2-5 sounds ridiculous, though. So, yeah. Anyway, back to our deck. Yeah, we went 3-2. and two, And, yeah, you, Blue Nux says, I'm going to consider it a 4-1. Yeah, it would have been a 4-1 if I would have played my Transfusion correctly. So, that's, you know, that's honestly, that's a really good record. The the three mana cards were kind of awkward at different points. Culling Strike, Death's Hand, Noxion Guillotine. Especially Noxion Guillotine looked kind of worse than the others. Even um, even Might was kind of awkward a little bit, but they're all like good in different situations. I do kind of feel like we, this deck should have a whole bunch of Noxion Fervor. Like Noxion Fervor seems awesome. But is it like, maybe that's better than Calling Strike, just playing Noxion Fervor? And maybe better than some of the mites. Again, I have might in here again because of Swain. Like having might plus Swain is just absolutely amazing. Um, why is there d zero Shen decks? It's just not not too good of a card. So when you play it. It's a four mana two five has no kind of enter the battlefield effect it just if you don't have any ally to support it does nothing and you know it only attacks for two it's you know you can also block you'd have to have other things to protect it if you've played four barriers then it's leveled up and then it's just the same kind of thing and all your your only payoff for like all of this is to give like some other attacker a barrier in plus three plus zero like after the level up it's just not when you compare it to all the like other champions like this is just so much worse um crimson disciple is amazing for us this card was really really good Especially being able to like block and turn and deal damage to them on their turn, turn on plunder on their turn with Wolf Rider, that was awesome. But there we go, pretty good deck. I feel like the the thing to do with this deck is figure out what to do with these three mana cards, um, and and you know maybe City Breaker could be could be trimmed as well. I just really like City Breaker, but like those kind of cards, um, like how, like what are we supposed to do with Let's see, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those nine slots. 
those are the slots that I'm not sure. I really I think Death Lotus should definitely be a one of. And then all these other three ofs are all really good. Like all the three ofs are great. It's just what to do what do we do with these other ones and twos? That's the question. But it looks good, you know, we can basically count that as a four one. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Y'all know what to do by now. If you have any ideas for what to do with, like, how you would do, like, those slots, if you're somebody that's played this deck a whole lot, if you have um, something like, uh, if you know, like, should we be playing all of those Noxion uh, fervors? Um, you know, like, what should we do with those nine slots? All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Sejuani Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.